you can be. There's a protein type, a, a mixed type, or a carbohydrate type. So it's one of three types. If you put your hands up, if you've got the most, most of the A's. If you remember a little bit about what Tom was talking about last week, that metabolic typing in works, it's a genetic plan, so it looks at your ancestral history. And in the UK, most people are sort of hunter-gatherers. Do you think years and years ago, you would have eaten meat and been hunters? So a lot of people are actually protein type. And all the different types of diets you probably have tried in the past, a lot of people had a lot of success from the Atkins diet. And the Atkins diet is a, is a protein diet. So that's why that suited a lot of people, because you'll find most people in the UK are actually protein types. Uh, but if you're not a protein type, that, an atom type would be, be highly dangerous. Um, so you've got protein type, as I say, mixed type and carbohydrate type. So the mostly A's, and these are a carbohydrate type, so we've got none of those. Mostly B's? Okay. Oh, so do you mind setting that up? Sorry, don't worry. So, if you've got mostly B's, you're going to start by being a mixed type. And I'm going to go through exactly what this means. Um, so, anyone mostly C's? Okay, so your protein types. You're like, ooh. If you think that's a good thing, then you definitely are a protein type because it's what your body actually likes. I do need to pack. You've got a Thank you. 
that size is how you can work out what you need to have. And if you think of the <coughs> A fistful of carbohydrates is one portion of carbohydrates. It's something the size of your fist. So what types? Give me some carbohydrates. What's the carbohydrate? Potato, pasta, 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 vegetable, salad, fruit. All those things are carbs. Okay. So if you were a mixed type, we'll go through mixed types a little bit more. You would have a deck of carbs of protein and one fistful of Carbohydrates because you're mixed. You're a mixed type. So like 50 50. Exactly 50 50, yeah. So a mixed type, mixed types are lucky. Mixed types can eat in both charts the carbohydrate type chart and the protein chart. If you're a carbohydrate, if you're a protein type, so say you've got a fast metabolism, you actually oxidize food very quickly, you're a fast oxidizer. But you only do that if you are eating protein. If you've got a protein type that, that can deal with the meat and the <coughs> high fat food and you're feeding it with carbohydrates all the time, your body will just store that as fat. And you'll feel low and sluggish and you won't feel very good about yourself. So mixed types. It's 50% of each. So protein and carbs. So we will, as a, what I want you to do is, is understand the concept this week so you can go away and start trying. And certainly next week we'll get you into groups and do sort of menu ideas so you can start planning your own kind of thing. So for those of you that are protein types, if you just think about a breakfast, how many portions of protein to how many portions of carbs are you going to have? Three. Yeah, so three portions of protein. How many carbs? Okay, so three portions of protein. So what kind of things for breakfast, guys, you protein types? Right, so protein, you could have Two eggs, if you're having milk, that's also protein, so one cup of milk would be a free protein, and one half a fistful of mushrooms or a tomato. What I really want you guys to do is really cut back on your wheat. I'm not going to say as from tomorrow, don't have any, but if you could do that, that would be amazing. Because most people are intolerant to wheat, so bread and pasta. Um, and unfortunately in the UK, most people have a higher carb diet and most people are protein, so that's why so many people are overweight and unwell. What can we replace it with? I was just going to say, what was some corn Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah the, the whole thing about it, it depends how, you know, how seriously you want to take the nutrition side of it. Um, I've got some really good books that I, I will bring a book list for you to read. Sorry, Natasha, very quickly, because for the Natasha uh -huh. the sun, but just on that score, I was reading through it last week, and I, I, instead of getting bread, I got the rye bread. To be honest, no, it's all different. Oh, oh. But to me, I wish I'd found it sooner. Forget the diet, I would have had it before, as I was yeah. eating, instead of brown. You can have certain things yeah. that I eat, because I don't eat wheat at all, so, um, because I, if I eat wheat, my stomach blows up like a football. So we'll, we'll talk, we can't talk long about it, but a little bit about your food mood chart in which you should start noticing how your body feels to food. If I eat pasta, I, I honestly got to look like I'm nine months pregnant. My stomach goes really hard and skinny. It's not very attractive to me. And bread is similar. Um, it just makes you feel that good. And you should start noticing of things that you're, you're perhaps intolerant to um, once you start looking at how you feel after you eat certain things. Is rye bread like company called that brand German stuff? No. 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 Oh, no. it's just not brown bread. So well done, Martin, by the way. Rye bread is like a sort of vegan diet. No, I'm really. I'm really excited.